Oh wait, now we know how to open that hieroglyphic thing. Quick, Samoth, read the inscription. Um. Don't you remember your hieroglyphics? Foot, foot, snake, squiggle, squiggle, bird. Foot, snake, squiggle, squiggle, bird. You remember. That's the way it is with foreign languages, little buddy. It's easy to get out of practice, but once you Yikes. run, that daughter and bullets and foiled again. They're getting away. The journey home. Well, little buddy, here we are, fresh from a successful tomb raiding expedition. We're in back Lower on the train. Middle Egypt, back on board the Desorian Express, bound for New York City. Remind me, Samoth, how did we manage to undo that security spell and swipe the Devil's Toy Box from the family of Guardian Moles? Uh, it's a hell out of me. Who can remember? The important thing is, the Toy Box is safe and sound right here in our... Holy uh, Paul Row in a blood-soaked bathtub with a full set of dental records and a mud-caked work boot with two missing treads. We've been robbed. Again? It must have happened while we were stacking up on ketchup packets in the snack car. Which means the culprit is on this train. Of course. Okay, what do we have here again? We have the Cano Nuts and Psychic Ventriloquism. That has a mustache. Steamer trunk. Inventory. Jara cookies. I think. Closet. No devil's toy box in there. Eh. Well, out we go. Um, hello. Who are you? Baggage. Baggage. Maybe the toy box is stashed behind all this luggage. Possibly. Let's start unloading. What? Oh, uh, guys. Nope, not there. I is it in the sarcophagus? Nope, just a dead guy. No toy box in there. Just some creepy dead guy. Okay, exit to yellow car. Wow, this car is really yellow. Hello? Elves. Hello, boss. We was only... It ain't him. Just in two months from New York. Yeah? Why are you here? What are you elves doing on this train? We go where Kringle goes. We're his retinue, like. Only he don't know nothing about our secret project. Oh. Secret project? I'm obviously supposed to ask you about this secret project. I ain't authorized to talk about it. You'll have to talk to the project manager. Hey, Slushy! Slushy? Oh, him! What's up, dog? He's a vampire now! <laughs> you, you've changed. Um, you okay, Slushy? You're looking kind of pale, dude. Yeah, so they tell me. I guess I got bit by something or other. No pain, though. Matter of fact, I never felt better. You're a vampire, Slushy! Seriously, I hate to break it to you, but I think you're a vampire. Ah, Guan, you don't buy that hooey any more than I do. I could go for a nice blood sausage, though. With the extra blood, Slushy equal vampire. Slushy the vampire elf. Soon to be a beloved holiday special. We're kidding around. We're not. We're serious. Uh, secret project? What's this secret project everybody's talking about? It's a new toy. Oh, boy, what a toy. This baby will have old man Kringle turning backflips once we spring it on him. Uh, just putting the finishing touches on it now. Can you give us a sneak peek? Uh -uh. We ain't letting the cat out of the bag. Not yet. Gotta get it kid tested first to make absolutely certain we got a winner. Hmm. Adult toys are popular. Boys aren't just for kids anymore. I predict that by the 21st century, grown men will <coughs> keep toys in their office cubicles. Uh... Yeah, well, this is a 20th century toy, and it requires a 20th century kid to test it. Hmm. We're kids at heart. Kid tested, eh? My little buddy has the brain of a child. I keep it in my bedroom closet. Nix, nix! We gotta test this toy with a real kid. Ah, crap. I mean, it makes sense. Uh, we can get you a kid. Wait right there. I've got the perfect kid for you. Yeah? That's fantastic, pal. Send him over. Where's Amelia? 
Door? Baby. Hey, baby Amelia Earhart. I... She's napping. Hmm. Closet door? No devil's toy box in there. Nothing. I can't wait forever, buddy. <sighs> bye bye, baby. I gotta hey, wake her baby up. Amelia Earhart? I. She's napping. Use music box. <sighs> so you're the type that would barge in on a girl and interrupt her nap time, eh? Can't say I'm surprised. What can I do for your fellows? You nap to right of the Valkyries? Huh. Always have. Puts me out like a light. Shows you how different people are. I always fall asleep to the tears of a clown. Mm, poor old Chuckles. I think his shackles are too tight. Oh, God! Okay, she's up now. Why am I, baby? Time to get slushy. Oh, hey, Ryusei, how's it going? Yeah? Uh, Slushy. Let me talk to Slushy. What's up, dog? We can get you a kid. Wait right there. I've got the perfect kid for you. Yeah? That's fantastic, pal. Send him over. I will. Amelia! You better be not be napping again. She's not. You again, huh? Come on in. I was just working on my memoirs. You're, you're, you're like two. Amelia. Say, baby Amelia Earhart. Uh-huh. Uh, playtest. We've got a big surprise for you, baby Amelia Earhart. You have been chosen to participate in a market research project. <gasps> uh-huh. What's the catch? No catch. Just go next door with that nice vampire elf, where he'll give you a brand new toy to play with. <laughs> Not interested. Far too busy. What do I look like to you fellows? A child? Yes! Yes, you do! Because you are! Come on, baby Amelia Earhart, be a sport. All you have to do is go play with a toy for a few minutes. You go play with it. I've got more important things to do. He won't let us. We've tried. The toy box. Somebody went and stole our toy box. You mean the toy box you stole from the Tomb of Salmon Mark? Fair enough. Where's the decency? Well, search me, boys. I'm clean. Music box. Flight of the Valkyries. That's an unusual kind of lullaby. I'm an unusual Indeed. kind of kid. That's fair enough. Train. Got your own compartment now, eh? Going legit? I can afford to, thanks to our old friend, Sam and Mark. Gold-plated scarabs are fetching a nice price on the commodities market these days. All right. Be a good girl. Woman. Good woman. I can't wait forever, buddy. You're still two. Bye-bye, baby. You again, eh? Come on in. I was just working on my memoirs. Okay, time to, uh, put her to sleep. Funny how Right of the Valkyries puts her right out. It would have been nice to know that back when it was useful. <laughs> Funny how Right... Oh, I... nice... Okay, I can't put her back to Why sleep. Why, baby? Alright, so Amelia won't do it unless we give her something, most likely. Luggage? Maybe the toy box is stashed behind all this luggage. Possibly. Let's start unloading. Unloading! Nope, nothing here. Just uh, out the window. Nope, not there. Oh well. We'll give the shot. Caboose. Nice caboose. <laughs> Can't go to the caboose. Okay, most likely that secret toy. Project's how I give the toy idea to the guys in the future. In the past, which is how I... Uh... Oh, I'm confused. Wait, I can use the exit? Use exit! I'm not leaving till the background stops moving. <laughs> that is fair enough, Matt, Sam. Well, Samick. Okay. Samick. Kringle. Christmas Eve! Sounds like Kringle! What do you want? I'm busy in here! Uh... Room service! Police! It's us. Room service. Room service. For the love of Blitzen, it's about damn time! Yeah, hold on a minute! Now uh, we're leaving. 
Wait a second. Could I have taken the tray off the floor? You, you're the middle European jerk who got Maximus and me stuck on the wall back in the tomb of Samun Max. What? Please. This is ancient history. <gasps> go. You! You're the vampire! Well, not yet. He's not. He's still not a vampire. Maybe the toy box is stashed behind all this luggage. Yes. Possibly. Let's start unloading. Dump everything. Dump everything! Nope. Not there. What is that? An asp? Look, it's our old pal Spot. Hey! Hi, Spot. How's the boy? Whoa. Whoa. Cranky. Okay, Spot. How's the biting? We need a bag. Like a sack. Room service, room tray. service tray. Thank you. Pringles room service. Okay, now I have a glass. Who is it now? Police. Open up. This is the police. The train police? No, the untrained police. <laughs> hey. Who is it now? It's us. Hand it over, Kringle. That toy box is ours. We stole it fair and square. I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. Oh, boy. Now, scrap, before I call the conductor and have you confined to the lunatic car. There is no lunatic car. We've There's checked. A lunatic car? No. No, there's not Maximus. Forward! We've tried lunatic car, it's not fun. You just said there wasn't one. It's not fun, little buddy. Full of death and dehydration. No one's in there. So we can just go in. Nobody home. He has garlic hanging. Garlic, crosses, and wolfsbane. What? What do you make of that, little buddy? Jesus pesto? Uh-uh. Methinks somebody's trying to ward off vampires. Don't say methinks, Sameth. Methinks. I'll say whatever I want. Methinks somebody's trying to ward off vampires. Hmm. Steamer, that steamer trunk? trunk looks exactly like ours. Yeah. I thought we were on the cutting edge of steamer trunk chic. Doesn't appear to be locked. Well, no. Visitor. How kind of you to drop in on my humble home away from home, yeah? How? Oh, wow, he's strong. So sorry you could not stay for the aperitifs. If you'll excuse me. Okay, we cannot check his trunk because he'll come back and loot it. Or at least loot us. The moles! Nah. Hope we're interrupting something. Not at all. I was just leaving. I won't rest till you give me the you know what. Goodbye, Jurgen. Whatever. What? Ahem. Hey, how's it going? Uh, talk hey, to old man. Remember us? Of course. You're the wise guys who made off with the devil's toy box, the treasure we moles have been guarding for almost six thousand years. Yeah. About that, Jurgen. What was that fellow with a fruity accent doing in here? Private business. Let's just say he wants something that only I can give him. Hmm. Oh, Dad. <laughs> you don't have to be so secretive. You might have to, actually. You don't know that. About the tomb. You're not mad at us for raiding your tomb? Heck no. Losing that toy box was the best thing that ever happened to us mole people. Hmm. After 6,000 years, we can finally say goodbye to burial chambers and hello to Broadway. <laughs> America! I can hardly wait! We have freed them! Freed them! Uh, your daughter? After all we've been through together in real 2, I feel I can speak freely. Yes? I'm sorry to report that your daughter is harboring a massive crush. <gasps> On whom? On Jurgen, on that Jurgen guy. Ah, tell me another. I, I'm not lying. I, I think. After all we've been through together in real two, I feel I can speak freely. Yes. I'm sorry to report that your daughter is harboring a massive crush. On whom? Oh, uh, on the dummy. On my little buddy's ventriloquist dummy. 
Oh dear, that doesn't sound healthy. Oh well, she'll either outgrow it or become a lonely, twisted old spinster with what? a toy fixation. Uh. Either way, I don't have to worry. Uh, um, where are you headed? Do you know where you're going when we reach America? To join my wife Natasha. We sent her ahead to get established. I hear she's managed to score us a sweet boiler room on the west side. Awesome. So a steamer trunk. A funny thing, that toy chest we swiped from you. Somebody swiped it from us. Well, easy come, easy go. <laughs> <laughs> Can we inspect your trunk? No. Uh, fair enough. Keep riding the rails, Mr. Molman. Okay. I love the fact that he mentioned that these th that we knew him from from a. Uh, no devil's toy box in there. <sighs> we met him in real too. <laughs> like the. <laughs> also, who's recording all this? That's my question. Okay, so this is the end. Got it. Back to Jurgen. Yes. Hello, Jurgen. So the mole man. You and the mole man next door seem to have some sort of mysterious connection. <laughs> If it were up to me, I would have no connection with these mole men and their pesky curses. But I am not completely free yet. Free? Mole girl. The mole girl from next door thinks you're all that. She is totally hot for you. Please, as if I am not already cursed enough. <laughs> uh, you... Who are you really, and what are you doing on this train? I told you, I am but a humble student of the antiquities. <laughs> oh yeah? This train isn't an antiquity. It will be someday. <laughs> you know, if it survives, you're not wrong. So the toy box. Hiding a toy box in your compartment, are you? About yay big, 6,000 years old? <laughs> no. I don't believe you. So about the anti-vampire junk. What's with the garlic crosses and wolfsbane? They are merely for decoration, okay? <laughs> I find them very soothing. If you are implying that I have these things because I'm afraid of being beaten by a vampire because I am under a curse or some such silly nonsense like that, then I have oh. nothing for you but mocking laughter. <laughs> oh. So you were cursed to be bitten by a vampire, huh? You're being paged. Somebody was asking for you in another car. Yeah? Who? Pringle, baby a minute. Earhart, elves. Elves! Elves. One of the elves in the last car. Don't know him. Green page. Somebody was asking for you in another car. Yeah? Who? Kringle! Mr. Kringle, next car over. Don't know him. Do you know baby Amelia Earhart? Somebody was asking for you in another car. Yeah? Baby Amelia Earhart. Baby Amelia Earhart in the last car. Never heard of her. Ah. Oh well. We're watching you, Jurgen. <laughs> yeah, like I care. Well, anyway, now that we know that, uh. Good old, uh. Amelia is affected by so Flight of the Valkyries. The or skip ahead to the next one. Back to the train. Strain time. Keep your mouth shut. Keep your mouth shut. Keep your mouth shut. Don't say a word. <laughs> what? Fly the Valkyries. Open up, I say. We gotta hide. Uh. Use cramp bed. That'd never hide us. Um. Uh. I'm coming in. A little privacy, please. Can't you see he's not decent? We run a clean train here, understand? Now, you have tickets or don't you? Out! Fuck! That didn't work. Should we try another reel? Why is this one so hard? It's the second reel! Like, this one should not be nearly this hard. Can of nuts! I'm coming in! Hello. Huh. Could have swore there was somebody gabbing in here. Huh. Nobody here. Reckon I were wrong. No one here but us cans of nuts! Woohoo! 
That was a close call. Lucky for us, we played that tour in Gutter Demeron. Ha! We sure put one over on that sap of a conductor, didn't we, partners? Partners? For the last time, kid, you're not joining our outfit. Nonsense! This is just the beginning. We've got an endless series of marvelous adventures ahead of us. One endless series of marvelous adventures later. Whoop! <laughs> just skipping right ahead, are we? You'll find it's not so easy to impress these Egyptian types with your magic act, little buddy. These jokers ingest sorcery with their mother's milk. Speaking of which, it looks oh. like we finally managed to lose that pesky baby Amelia Earhart. By George, you're right. That was a clever move, pointing her at that mirage and telling her it was an oasis. <laughs> <laughs> little kids are so trusting. Uh. Now, let's get down to the business at hand. We've got to find the Devil's Toy Box before it's scooped up by some disreputable Tomb Raiders. More disreputable than us, you mean? Look for a hidden passageway leading to an endless labyrinth. No doubt we'll encounter a dizzying array of fiendish death traps, but if we keep our wits about us... Found it! <laughs> about time. It's right over there! <laughs> Gotta go get it! I'm going. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-wee! Uh... Squid statue Anyone for calamari. Nothing else in here to touch, so toys box. Uh, Maximus, stop quaking with girlish timidity, Maximus. It isn't that. It's my psychic aura. It's acting up again, Samoth. Something within that toy box is calling out to me. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Oh! Samoth! It's a ventriloquist dummy! Don't panic, little buddy. It could be a fake. Well, well. What have we here? Two uh, raiders? Oh, oh, hi! My. We haven't had a good raiding in nigh under 50 years. <laughs> now just sit tight for a minute. We're afraid you caught us with our trousers down, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, haven't bothered to reset the security system in, oh, I don't know how long. Uh, now then, protection spell looks to be in order. Hmm? Oh boy. It's booting up! And now, yep, shield. There. That ought to do the trick. Nothing beats a good old-fashioned protection spell. <laughs> Why turn now, it don't off? Don't touch that toy box if you value your hide. What was the thing it just shot out? What thing it just shot out? The thing on the floor over there? Oh crap! Don't don't touch that either. Why would it shoot out a toy? I don't understand it. It never shoots out toys. There goes my aura again. I must have that dummy. No! Spot! Was that a yes, little buddy. It looks like you got your asp. And it's a big asp, too. Well, then I guess we have to go deal with that asp. Wait, how do I... The, the, wait, the guardian? The guardian. This big ugly guy seems to be very taken with the little gold guy. Hmm, maybe to an unhealthy degree. Interesting. How did the snake jump it? Huh. How did that snake jump that? Real handy if we had a... a gun. Oh, we don't. We just walk around, it looks like. I can do that. Sconce? Oh! Okay. In we go. Excuse me, guys. I'm, I'm just gonna come in. Oh, I thought there'd be people, people in here. Guess not. Okay, if I just get up there, I can go down that way. The burial chamber of Samick, Sam and Mac. Die here at the. Oh. They most likely call an act like a spring? Yep. That's probably come what happened. Come on, cutie. Come to grandpa. 
Why, you sly old rascal. Whoa, stay back, fellas. I was talking to her. Hello, boys. Hey! Bouncing boomerangs at a barbecue. She's back. Never underestimate an independent woman. <laughs> Ain't she a caution? Just like my granddaughter used to be not so long ago. Eh. Yes. Come on. Come to Grandpa. Grandpa's got toys. <laughs> I like oh. toys. You keep your distance. No Tomb Raiders allowed in the burial chamber. Um, what if I walk in? Can't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> oh, God! I don't think that's the way the story is supposed to end. Let's back it up and try it again. Okay, we're not going to... Uh... Wait. Whee! Uh, talking? Hey, Gramps. What can I do for you, gents? Protection spell? Say, Gramps, you know that spell of protection you put on the devil's toy box? We just cracked it. Yep, we nabbed the treasure and we're on our way. Just stopped in to say goodbye. Oh, nice try, you fellas. That security spell is pretty near foolproof, I reckon. I cast it many times and it ain't failed me yet. Ah, uh, fair enough. So what are those blocks? Nice blocks. Hieroglyphic blocks. Used them to teach my little Nefertiti how to spell way back in the day. Come on, princess. Gramps has some blocks for you to play with. Can I have a... You're a little old to be playing with blocks, ain't you? <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, never too old for blocks. Anyway, baby Amelia Earhart. How about you let us come in and we'll toss the baby over to you? No, sir. Baby's got to come to Grandpa all on her own, son. And then Grandpa will tell her those stories and pinch her little fat cheeks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lord help us. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Eh? Amelia? Hey, baby Amelia Earhart. You're back. We were uh, terribly distraught to lose you back there in the desert. Yes, I could see that at the time, from the way your shoulders were shaking with grief as you ran away. Or was it laughter? Anyway, fortunately for me, a caravan happened to be passing through the area. Bandits. They saw me there and picked me up. I don't speak much Arabic, but I did manage to gather something about my fetching an attractive price at the Slave Bazaar in Marrakesh. That would have uh. been the end of the story, I suppose, if their chief hadn't carelessly left his scimitar within reach and if I weren't such an expert swordsman. Swordswoman. Yes, well, don't wander off again. Next time, something serious could happen. Something much much worse. So, uh, Grandpa Mole. That nice and only vaguely creepy old man over there wants to play with you. Yes, I know. And you want me to toddle over on my adorable little footsie, so he'll bounce me on his knee and pinch my fat little cheeks and tell me suffocatingly dull stories about bunny rabbits. Also, you can sneak in behind his back and make off with his jewel-encrusted scarab collection or something. I wasn't born yesterday, you know. So, my, you are a clever little imp. So that's where you got those. Clever for you, I'm afraid. I've no intention of being a pawn in your game, whatever it is, and I think I have a pretty good idea. Besides, I detest being slobbered over by geriatrics. I find it highly demeaning. I'm a liberated baby, you know. To hell with that <laughs> Gucci goo nonsense. This is the 20th century. You're still a baby. Grandpa Mole. Come on, baby Amelia Earhart. Go see Grandpa. Not in a million years. A million years later. Go see Grandpa. Grandpa. Well, he's dead now, so it should be fine. <laughs> so, uh, what you up to? What you doing in there, baby Amelia Earhart? Studying the graves of the ancient tomb guardians. I'm on the verge of a major discovery. If my hunch is correct, this place was once home to a race of mole men. You don't say. Be a good girl. Woman. Good woman. Well, we have the trilogism done, but we can't use it yet. Wait, or is it in our inventory? No, we just can't use it yet. I thought for sure we'd use it like on that, there, and that. Can I like, wait, no, let's talk to Maximus. All right, let's go. Until we can use that dummy, I don't think we can do anything here. Oh, stupid wall. Sconce! Psst. Huh? What? Over here! What? You are mounting the devil's toy box, yeah? I can help you, but you must help me first. Hey, Jurgen. Who done it? Who? Who did this to you? 
The moles. They are completely verrucked. Especially the old one. At first he played the kindly grandfather, but then without warning he turned on me like the vicious wild beast and cursed me with bad luck. I tried to flee, but the way out was blocked by a nasty mole woman with a cheesy accent. She threw another curse at me. In my confusion, I blundered into a tripwire and poof! Curse number three! And here I am. That sucks. Unless we already didn't know that you leave us on a wall. So, uh, who are you? How do European gent like yourself wind up on a two-dimensional surface like this? I am but a poor student of the antiquities. I came to Egypt in order to make sketches of the tomb decorations. Little did I expect I would become a tomb decoration myself. Hmm, <laughs> so, toy box. You know how to break the spell of protection over the toy box? Naturally. During my long confinement here, I have had much opportunity to study the mole magic. How long have you been here? Then why can't you undo your own curse? Alas, I have the limited mobility up here. Ah. You undo my spell, I'll help undo yours. Okay, so, uh, help how? What's your problem? Bad accent? <laughs> no, I have been confined on this accursed wall for decades. You must free me. Bitter? How long have you been here? What do we need to do to get you down from there? Do you see the bust of Samun Mark? There's a secret clasp underneath it. Release the clasp and I am released from the wall, your grateful servant. Easier said then. How do we get to the bust? That is the good question. All right. Hang tight. I'm good at that. Okay, sconce. Flip the switch. Raise the stairs. Easy enough. Hey, it fixes that one too. Uh, Maximus, how'd you get over there? Hmm. Guardian. It's two statues, isn't it? I'm free! I'm free! Oh, glorious third dimension! Oh, blessed relief! <laughs> I'm free! Oh. Oh, uh, what? Oh, no! And you're not. So sorry. Got to run. <laughs> Wait. You said you'd help us land the devil's toy box. Do not be silly. What would a couple of bar reliefs want with a toy box? Just. God. Okay, so we can still move. Get no point in that. Why? Why not? Infidels! Uh. Vipers! You have removed the sacred bust of Samun Mak. For your sins, you must remain on this wall. Okay, fair enough. Uh, for how long? For eternity! <laughs> well, that's not good. <laughs> I don't get it. No, it's not to get up. Uh, straight talk, bluff, threaten, and... Threaten and, and entreat? Straight talk. Okay, for reals, there's got to be some way around this stuck on the wall for eternity, who, huh? Well... Yeah? Come on. Well, we have to let you off if you can answer the riddle of this fox. Which no one ever has. Okay, so uh, what's the riddle? Let's hear the riddle. <sighs> All right. You who raid the Pharaoh's tomb... Much deserving of your doom. Fair enough. If you want to save your hide, tell us what the gods deride. Hmm. What the gods deride. Hmm. Bigots? Cucumber... Cucumbers cut lengthwise? To cut the cucumber lengthwise? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's a good one! <laughs> it never gets old, does it? Uh... Wait, that was it? We're free! What? Well, we've still got the bust of Salmon Mac. I didn't think that was the answer! I... Okay, I didn't expect that. I thought... It... It's a bust. Oh, it's not as bad as all that. I thought it would just be funny. I didn't think it would be the answer. Oh. 
It's a cozy niche. Take it out. So we somehow have to break it in half. Uh, use the trip plate. Turns us back into statues. What? Back again? Yeah. Didn't you learn your lesson the first time? Uh, move? Listen, I know you're busy being tomb decorations, but would you mind letting us scooch past? We're trying to get to the other side so we Impudent can- Impudent jackals! Tomb guardians do not let people scooch past. Uh, move? Listen, I know you're busy being tomb decorations, but would you mind letting- We're trying to get to the other- Impudent jackals! Tomb guard- Fair enough. Riddle. Let's hear the riddle. <sighs> All right. You... Okay, we get to listen to all the bigots. Racism against gods? Guess again. Self-centered people? People who think everything's about them? Meaning me, I suppose. <laughs> uh, -uh. uh Pests. Annoying people? Is that it? Huh? Huh? Did we get it? Huh? Not even close. Darn it. Um, chick flicks. Chick flicks? Guess again. Insensitive males? Guys who leave the seat up? Nuh-uh. Short people? Short people? Not even close. Mockers. People who do unflattering impressions of their friends behind their backs? Like who, for instance? Oh. Like who, for instance? You. Yes, again. Monsters. Monsters. Ah. Nuh uh. Pretension? Insufferable phylogistical affectation? Not even close. Kids today? Those damn whippersnappers with their horseless carriages and crystal sets? Guess again. Monkeys. Monkeys? Nuh uh. And of course, to cut the cucumber lengthwise, they find it hilarious. <laughs> so I can walk down this thing, right? Oh, wait, no, I, I can't walk down this thing. Pulling that lever put, this, put the walkway there, so I can just go back around and walk up the uh, pathway. Walk forward, down. So I somehow have to break this statue in half. Probably the mystical power of a hacksaw. The mythical ancient Egyptian hacksaw. I need it now. Just get Oh yeah, we don't have the puppet. I don't know why I completely blanked on the fact the puppet's eaten by the snake. I was like, I'll just use the pup. Wait a minute, I don't have the puppet. <laughs> Earlier, and I, I completely forgot why we don't have it. There we go. Okay, Spot. The puppet I want. Huh. Oh, two doorways. Oh. Alt! Hello. Two doorways. I just said that. The doorway of life and the doorway of death. Choose a right, and you will pass through to the Chamber of Delight, wherein our greatest treasure resides. Choose a wrong, a wrong, and a mighty scimitar will strike from above and slice you cleanly in half. <laughs> Proceed. Okay. If you dare. Dare, dare, dare. Let's well, choose this door. And... Shoot, shoot, shoot! Grr. You were supposed to go through the other door! The other door is the one with the scimitar! You won't be so lucky next time. I'm going to recalibrate the mechanism. You'll have to pass this point again on your way out, and then... Watch out! That's all. You're not allowed to look! I guess it's only fair to give him a second chance. Did he say a right? So he said a left... Hmm. Let's talk to him. Hello, mole man. Say, buddy. Yes? So, mole woman. We ran into this mole person back in New York. Kerchief, obsessed with a can of nuts. Natasha! My darling little pudding snout. <laughs> Tell me, what was she up to? Cursing elves, mostly. <laughs> <sighs> Still doing what she loves most. Uh, mole woman. Answer me something, Pops. Why is it the moles back in New York speak in this funny dialect, and you talk just the same way we do? Uh... I I'm sorry, what did you say? I'm completely thrown by your accent. 
Because <laughs> it's hairy. <laughs> Two doors. Is that the scimitar there? Over the- Don't look! Don't look! The doors of life and death are supposed to be a surprise! All right, fair enough. So, uh, elderly mole man. Hey, Bunny, you know anything about an elderly mole man with specs? Sure! That's my pop. He guards the burial chamber. Ah. Um, so, toy box. Can you convince the old guy to take down his protection spell and let us have the devil's toy box? The devil's toy box? The treasure we moles have been guarding for 6,000 years? Yes. Yeah. No. Well, worth a shot. Love to stay in chat, but we got a tomb to raid. Oh. Excuse us. Ooh, interesting paintings. There we see the body of Salmon Mok, born to the tomb by the Mole Guardians. They say it was the costliest burial of all time. Now hmm. that's what I love about this country. You guys know how to throw a classy funeral. Classy. Salmon Mok the Great, at the zenith of his power. Gee, I want to be a god king. He looks like... Salmon Mark discovers the Devil's Toy Box. The moment that changed the course of history. Kinda reminds me of Jurgen. Young Salmon Mark started life as a humble frog catcher, but fate intervened. Hmm. Never takes Bounder. What? Hold the it right oh. there, buckos! Can't you read hieroglyphics? No. It's a turn and a leaf. Exactly. Turn and leaf. The two of us want to be alone. We happen to be sharing a super intimate moment. Oh. Uh, More key, lover boy. Lover boy? With the puppets? It's the dummy! His name is Charlie Hotep. Now, are you gonna keep away, or do I have to shit spot on you? What? Uh. Charlie Hotep? Listen, kid. I know your feelings for Charlie Hotep are very. Well, dysfunctional? But I'm going to have to insist you turn him over to my pal here. Charlie and me are soulmates! Right. As if. Charlie and I have a perfect understanding. Just try and come between us, and I'll put a curse on you that'll curl your toes! Do you mean literally, or...? <laughs> so, the two doors. We can't just leave. We went through so much to get here. The doorways of life and death, you mean? Yep. Right. Dad built that. It's like supposed to discourage shooters. As if I need him always watching over me. God, so embarrassing. Yeah. So, uh, mole curses. Some people would say it isn't very becoming for a young lady to curse. Yeah, right. Cursing is only like a completely major part of mole culture. Okay, uh, mole curses again? I suppose your dad does a curse too? What the yeah, heck happened to Samus? I don't even want to know. He's got like the most devastating curse in the whole world. The sexo rejecto hex. What? Hmm. Can you tell us about it without getting us an M rating? How'd you like it if the very sound of your voice repulsed the opposite sex? <laughs> oh. Can you imagine? Did he, did he use it? Did, did, okay. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna... Yeah, okay, I get the joke. What's your curse, little girl? The whole scene hex. But I'm not very good at it yet. <laughs> What's it do? So, snake. So what happens if we decide to just saunter right in? Do you want me to set my asp on you? No, no! <laughs> oh, please, God, anything but that! Um, the treasure. Your father said something about finding his greatest treasure in here. Yeah, so you found her. But don't start getting any ideas. <laughs> I've already found my dream boy. Uh... I'm truly happy for all of us. How do we get Stay this- Stay sullen, kid. Shut up! How are we gonna get that doll? Huh. We are in the can of nuts. Okay, we we did we did the can of nuts. Okay, I'm assuming I'm, I'm taking a bold leap here. Oh, I can use this door now. 